The Le Potato is a single board computer that is similar to the Raspberry Pi in terms of its small form factor, low power consumption, and low cost. It is often used for projects such as media centers and retro gaming consoles. It has higher RAM compared to the Raspberry Pi, but it does not have Wi-Fi. Today, I will install Open Media Vault 6 on the Potato, even though there are many disadvantages in doing this, this is purely educational. It has four USB 2.0 ports, 100 MB fast Ethernet, full-size HDMI, micro SD card slot, as well as eMMC interface, infrared receiver and U-boot button. To start with the install, I imaged Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64-bit on the micro SD card. By using Raspberry Pi Imager. Links below on where to download. Then I used the micro SD to boot the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Now I run the usual sudo apt update. And sudo apt upgrade. Now I run the script to port Raspbian to the loop potato. Now that it's done, I can take the micro SD card, insert it into the Le Potato and boot normally.
Once I SSH into the little potato, I can install Open Media Vault 6 like I would on a Raspberry Pi. By using the steps on the OMVExtras.org website. This step will take a while. Once this is done, look for the IP address of the Le Potato and type into your browser. Default user is admin. And default password is Open Media Vault. At this point I can set up Open Media Vault normally. It seems that Open Media Vault 6 is running on Le Potato. Keep in mind we do not have any storage device installed yet, but this should not be any issue. Please avoid having any of your data on the install. Back up your data at all times. Thank you for watching.